Hey guys, in this first lesson of trigonometry, I'm going to teach you guys uh, the basic trigonometric ratios and what they mean. So trigonometry is based on right angle triangles. So the first thing I have done is I have drawn a right angle triangle. And obviously in a right angle triangle, there is a right angle which is labeled here and I'm going to label another angle in this triangle as theta which is a symbol that represents an unknown angle so this angle can be any number of degrees uh, we're just not sure what it is now according to this angle we can now name give names to every side in this right angle triangle so we're going to name the opposite side, the side that is opposite to our theta as the opposite side. O-P-P-O-S-I-T-E, opposite. The opposite side. And the longest side of this right angle triangle, I'm going to call it the hypotenuse side. And you can see that the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle so the right angle is here and the hypotenuse is opposite to the right angle and it's always the longest side and the last side that is remaining I'm going to call it the adjacent side adjacent so I have named all three sides of the right angle triangle let's see if you can name all three sides from this right angle triangle so I'll give you a few minutes to name it come back when you're done okay so the opposite side is opposite the uh, theta the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle and the last side that we have remaining is the adjacent side okay now that you are relatively good at naming the sides we can now define our trigonometric equations and uh, basically there are three different equations you need to remember and that is the sine ratio and the cosine ratio and the tangent ratio now what is a ratio a ratio is simply one quantity divided by another quantity and the sine ratio is the opposite side the length of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side okay so basically the sine ratio of a triangle when someone talks about what is the sine ratio of a triangle all you do is you get the length of the opposite side and you divide it by the length of the hypotenuse side the cosine ratio is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse side I'm not going to write side lead length um, but that's what's supposed to be there and the sine ratio is the opposite divided by the adjacent and the short way of writing these three equations you will see is just sine theta equals op o over h cos theta equals a over h and tangent theta equals o over a so that will be the three equations that means the same thing as the top three equations uh, written in the mathematical way and the way that people remember this is by writing the phrase Sokatoa 
Soccer Toa, as you can see, S means sine, op sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So that's what Soccer Toa means, which is a phrase you should memorize. Okay, so how do we use this Soccer Toa? So for example, if I gave you a right angle triangle and I said that um, I'm just making up some numbers here. So I said that the um, theta is located here and I'm going to label these three sides as um, let's say seven centimeters, eight centimeters and uh, 10.6 centimeters. Now obviously these are only estimations. So if the question said uh, what is sine theta equal to? And what is cosine theta equal to? And what is tangent theta equal to? In this right angle triangle. So all you do is you write down the equations. The sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse which is uh, the opposite side, which is 7. So you're going to label the sides 7. And the hypotenuse is 10.6. So it's going to be 7 divided by 10.6, which is, uh, so you're going to type that in the calculator, 7 divided by 10.6, which is about 0.66. And that is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. The cosine ratio is A over H and the adjacent side is here. So it's uh, 8 divided by 10.6. Putting that in your calculator, 8 divided by 10.6, so that's 0. 75 rounded to two decimal places and the tangent theta is O over A so that's uh, 7 over 8 and it's equal to 0 0.875 so that's how you find the trigonometric ratios in a right angle triangle. Thanks for watching. See you next time.